Scotland it is a land with a rich and fascinating history, but not all of its stories are pleasant. Among the darker moments in Scottish history are the crimes committed by William Burke and William Hare, two men who are infamous for their role as serial killers in the early 19th century. William Burke and William Hare were Irish immigrants who lived in Edinburgh, Scotland in the early 1800s. They were known for their occupation as resurrectionists, which meant that they dug up recently buried corpses and sold them to medical schools for dissection. At the time, this was not illegal, but it was still considered a gruesome, and unethical practice. In 1827, Burke and Hare took their business to the next level by killing people in order to sell their bodies. Their first victim was a lodger at Hare's boarding house who died of natural causes. Burke and Hare decided to sell the body to a local medical school, but when the school's anatomist discovered that the man had not died of natural causes, they were unable to pay for the body. Burke and Hare realized that they could make more money by killing people themselves and selling their bodies. Over the next year, Burke and Hare killed at least 16 people, mostly lodgers at Hare's boarding house. They would lure their victims to the house and then suffocate them, either by holding a hand over their nose and mouth or by compressing their chest. They would then sell the bodies to medical schools for dissection. The murders were discovered when Burke and Hare sold the body of their final victim, a woman named Margaret Doherty, to a medical school. A suspicious porter at the school alerted the authorities, and Burke and Hare were arrested. Hare was granted immunity in exchange for testifying against Burke, who was convicted and sentenced to death by hanging. After his execution in January 1829, Burke's body was publicly dissected at the University of Edinburgh's medical school. His skeleton, along with a death mask, were preserved and are still on display at the Anatomical Museum of the University of Edinburgh. Hare was released from custody and disappeared from public view, likely changing his name and moving to England. The story of Burke and Hare has captured the public imagination for nearly two centuries. Their gruesome crimes were seen as a reflection of the darker side of society, and their case prompted changes to the laws surrounding the use of cadavers for medical research. Their story has been the subject of countless books, plays, and movies, including the 1945 film The Body Snatcher, which starred Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi. The crimes of William Burke and William Hare are a dark chapter in Scottish history. Their story is a reminder of the horrors that people are capable of, and of the need for society to be vigilant against those who would do harm to others. While their legacy is a disturbing one, it is also an important reminder of the need for justice, and of the power of the law to bring criminals to account for their actions.